Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a YouTube video since um, October, which is a long time from now. But today I'm here with my friend Mikhail, who's new to the channel and a favorite of many of my subscribers, Vilhal. Would you believe that I've actually gotten asked several times in the comments of other videos, when is Vilho coming back? Well, I wasn't aware of the fame <laughs> I have. You do and have fame. I am really grateful for <laughs> all of you missing me. And <laughs> so. <laughs> and like, like this is strange because like, like, like uh, trying to keep a straight face. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> like uh, actually that feels good. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> well. But he is a living legend. In, he is. In many, many ways. You are too. Hats, hats off like you are our too. dear friend who <laughs> lives in Helsinki says. You are both legends. And today you will become, yeah. today you will become yes. bigger legends because today we are going to find out if little brand Oreos called Neo Cookies and little brand Oreo cereal is as good as regular Oreos and Oreo O's. I spent nine euros and 95 cents on this box of Oreo O's, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. I won't be having any for two reasons. Number one, I have a distinct memory of not liking Oreo O's that much from my childhood. I bought them a few, t or I didn't buy anything. My mom bought them for me a few times, but I was always more of like, eat the entire pack of Oreos rather than the Oreo cereal person. And number two, I've been on a bit of a diet since the beginning of January. I've lost five kilos and I'm not about to go off the rails for Oreos. So that's why I have these lovely people with me here today. So what do you guys want to try first? Do you want to try the cookies or the cereal? Maybe it makes sense to start yeah, with the cookies. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe the cookies. Like okay. I, I, I would hope there would be, be a uh, Domino cereal. I thought compare. about that. I thought about that. So Domino is the Finnish equivalent of a chocolate sandwich cookie, uh, but there was no Domino cereal, so I didn't buy yeah. Domino because I feel like it would just be strange to have the cookie and not the cereal. So Fotzer, if you're watching, Domino cereal, come on. So. Should we do this? Let's tag Fatser official somewhere. Yes, and we're gonna contact the officials. How would you like to do it? Would you like to have a visually impaired taste test, or would you like to have just I tell you this is an Oreo and this is a little Oreo? Um, like I'm happy knowing what I mean. Okay, so maybe <laughs> we can start with the Oreos. So these are. European Oreos. And I have to say that they're European because I've understood that these taste different from the American and the Canadian versions. My Canadian friend swears that these don't taste right. So. Maybe they're just less cheap. Probably. Although <laughs> Canadian food in general is slightly less processed than American food, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, here's a regular <clears throat> Oreo for you. And, and here's a regular Oreo for you. I have to disclaim that I have uh, had some Neo uh, cookies in the past as well, but I've never eaten Oreos and Neos simultaneously, so I don't really have uh, a, a proper... Yeah, exactly. I don't really have, uh, 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 to, uh, have an opinion except that uh, my experiences of Oreo are that Domino is better, but... Uh, which is strange because shots fired. Yeah, because I think that um, isn't it that uh, uh, Oreo has a bit of a lighter. Yes. Uh, no, no, that uh, Domino has a bit of a lighter. The chocolate. It, oh yeah, Domino. The chocolate is lighter, but the cookie is heavier. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So Oreos mm. are thinner, um, so that the lighter in like a like a weight sense. But Domino's yeah. Domino's have a lighter chocolate. Yeah, right, and, 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 and 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 but also a lighter taste. Like and usually I I like dark chocolate. I haven't that. had a Domino in a long time, so I don't remember. But, but I like Dominoes better, I think, than. Aren't, aren't Domino's are Dominoes like or they um, milk brats as well? Yes. And and these Oreos are, are vegan. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that might also be one. Uh, 
one reason why why uh, there is a significant difference between Domino's and Oreos because I, I think I I also prefer uh, Domino's to o Oreos so I'm I'm very sorry for raining on your parade. Why did we're, I, we're coming here to rain on your parade. Why did I even invite you guys to my house? Because Holy you crap. because you want us to suffer. Okay. Yes. Well, eat the cookie. And we are the masters of suffering, so we will be eating the so cookies. So let's 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 hit it. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> let's put an explosion yeah. in the devil. Pew pew. <laughs> it's nice. It's so fine. In, mm. in in Finnish, it's nice. It's totally fine. It's actually he he actually really likes that. <laughs> he really likes it. You can see it from my. <laughs> I like. Like now, I'm just thinking I'm eating eating a Domino because I, I haven't eaten Dominoes in a while, so it doesn't taste anything like a Domino. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> but uh, but now, like it's the closest, and and it feels like, yeah, I'm just eating a Domino, even even though I know I'm not, and this is a completely different thing. But it's I a... think uh, this is a little more dry. Yeah, and I think <clears throat> Domino is creamier, and maybe that is also the dip. that's the significant difference between a vegan and a milk product. And I yeah. think I think it's a relatively recent thing that Oreos are actually available widely it's, uh, in around Finland. Around five, five, six years. Five ago. years, yeah. yeah. Because I remember when I was pregnant, I wanted Oreos, and I think I have like this strong memory of checking the ads that come in the mail one day and seeing that Hong Kong had. Oreos and it was like a big deal that like now we have Oreos and then suddenly everyone had Oreos and and it was just a thing but the first I think three or four years that I lived in Finland there were no Oreos anywhere except the boat that goes between Finland and Sweden so those were hard times and I'm glad we survived are you ready for the Neos sure and and while you're you're unpacking the Neo uh, package I remember that we had a... Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. I just realized these Neos have a nutritional, like the British nutritional bar things. The Oreos, I don't think they didn't have those. Well, they yeah, have this. They, this they have ah, been shot. Because yeah, they, they have these have these, and I just realized these are all bad. There's nothing good for you in this package. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but it is I mean, UTC certified. But I under... Bad. bad. I expected that your channel was like a fitness, well, well, like wellness channel, so... It's not. Oh, but these come in cute little packages. Yeah. More plastic garbage to the world. This is a very Japanese way of doing things. I've, like, every time I've gotten Japanese candy or anything in the mail, it's always wrapped very neatly, like, inside of the main wrapping. It's cute, but it feels kind of wasteful. Because we were at Pick and Pay a few weeks ago, and uh, we... we they had like a big, uh, they, they, they also had a big cardboard tempukki, mm -hmm. but they also had like a big cardboard ad of Lady Gaga Oreos, but there, there were nowhere to be found in Pick and Pay. Oh. And we remembered that our, our friend uh, Marcus, hello to Marcus, you're great, we love you, uh, yes. he's a big Lady Gaga fan and he, he had his great quest for Lady Gaga Oreos in Helsinki and eventually he found them. And I was also very, very happy to, to find some in, in, in Puvilla, like a week ago, perhaps. The local city. The local, the local city, city, city market. market. Yeah, well, for viewers of my channel have actually been on a tour of that city yeah, market. Yeah, I, I kind of, kind of uh, guess that remember? implicitly your viewers know what Puvilla is. <laughs> But anyway, uh, of course they don't taste any different. But you can no. you can just win a ticket to a Lady Gaga gig, will which will most likely take place somewhere in two thousand and thirty. I was gonna say the twenty thirty Lady Gaga yeah, World yeah. Tour is gonna yeah. be lit, yeah. and it'd be cool to win a ticket. I was like just thinking that does this cookie say Volo or Yolo? <laughs> does it say Yolo really? Like no, not like not really, but... like like you could think that. There's I can't like see. A, it's, it's, I can't see yeah. that. It's not possible. But I think if there would be like, uh, for some reason, if, if there were like uh, 
big fandoms around, let's say, Oreo and 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 Neo, and they would have some kind of a clash between each other. Would the Neo fans call themselves the Neo folk? Actually, I made, yeah. I made a joke in the car today that Uki didn't laugh at, and that was, what do you call someone who believes that if you can't afford sandwich cookies, you should just work harder, and who thinks we should deregulate the cookie market? A neoliberal. I guess the, the A neoliberal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I was also <laughs> think, thinking, thinking about what do you think about what do you think about neofolk? Are you interested? I, about, I am, I am about not a fascist. I just play with the aesthetics. <laughs> And on that note, and 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 and, and, and to, to make to to, eat, to beat the dead horse even more, why haven't we mentioned Ken Reeves? Yeah, that's true. I'm actually disappointed that there is no picture of yeah. Keanu Reeves on yeah. this box. But friends, Keanu Reeves. we've made enough dumb jokes. Let's 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 hit the let's let's take the is so. But which one of these is the blue or the red pill? YOLO <laughs> <laughs> Okay This one is um, much sweeter and I think the, the mass of the cookie is, is thicker even though they... well I... I like, like this more Yeah <laughs> Whoa Um I think the sweetness is a bit too overdone. Of course, I suppose Neo is a milk product. Uh, I don't know. Can our cameraman tell us if this has milk in it? No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. What does it have in it? Oils. <laughs> oh, oils. Oh, oil. <laughs> it's real oils. Yes. Sorry. Milk powder. Okay. Whey powder. Milk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there is milk in it, just not. Yeah. But I, I just thought that uh, there's something strange about this texture of the cookie, but on the other hand, I still also think that it's. It was just, it hasn't uh, had a nicer taste. So, the final result for Vilho is that Neo is better than Oreo. Mikhail, what are your thoughts? It's quite hard to tell because um, I think that there should, there should be some kind of fine line between the dryness of the Oreo and the a bit overdone sweetness of the Neo. So, May, does this make me a, a true centrist? Uh, since I'm not <laughs> buying the neoliberal, you're not buying stuff. the neoliberals, but you're also not going to the far right of the <laughs> Oreo. No, no. no. <laughs> so where where should I place myself in the like uh, spectrum of cookie politics? Yeah, yeah. Domino. Domino. <laughs> So into into author, author, authoritarian. Authoritarian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so with all of Domino. the. So may, maybe 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 I could like pull some kind of a black horse somewhere and and say Domino is is superior, but that would be unfair because I haven't eaten any Dominoes for etern for an eternity. It's, it's also really unfair to anyone watching this who's not from Finland because I'm pretty sure that every country with little has access to Neos and yeah. Oreos, but I don't think you can get Dominoes outside of Finland or like maybe Estonia. Or Sweden. Or Sweden. Yeah. So... That's, or that's, that's St. Petersburg Prisma. St. Petersburg yeah, Prisma. Or like, <laughs> or like basically we're Finns. You can probably get them in like uh, Fuengarola, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah that's but true. Like, but like, if you're American and you're watching this, you think we're talking about pizza right now. So, <laughs> yeah. so that, yeah, true. with but, that, maybe um, we should move on to cereal? Or do you have something to add? Well, not not really. I was just to say, just uh, to add to that that Fatser has also uh, uh, a chocolate uh, with with uh, Domino flavor, and that's 
absolutely horrible. It's it's oh, you no. get diabetes the moment you 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 bite it. That's not good. Yeah. So next up, we're gonna. But I, I'll say Oreo is better. Oh, okay. So it's now tied then. <laughs> So next yes. up, we're going to try the cereal, the 10 euro box of Oreo O's versus, I forget what this costs, but the box of Oreo knockoffs. So, uh, the story behind Oreo O's is that these came out in the late 90s. I remember when these were new, and then they disappeared. They disappeared for a long time, and I think for a while were only available in South Korea. And then, because of 90s nostalgia and people of my age becoming adults and having money to burn on nothing, they started to produce these again. But over the past couple of years, the U.S. has been going through a trend of turning everything into cereal. So you can get Eggo Waffle cereal now, you can get Twinkie cereal, you can get all kinds of stuff as cereal that no one really asked for. KFC cereals. Um, someone might have asked for that. But but they the, are still not ready for uh, Salmiak cereal. No, they're not. But, uh, but the thing is, like, I don't know how I feel about that. Personally, well, first of all, Twinkies have always grossed me out. But second of all, like, Twinkie cereal just seems so over the top, and I just feel like in a time... Do they come like in a foil? No. All the, all the separate cereals in a foil? They and don't. You have to have opened them. They don't. But they're all made Wouldn't by... Wouldn't that be nice? They're all made by Post, which is the company that made the cereal. Um, so it makes me wonder if there is a European supplier for all of these ridiculous cereals. I know there's a Swedish web store where you can get, um, or it's a physical location too. I think it's called the Great American Gift Shop, according to Charles. I don't know who Charles is, but apparently his opinion matters. And I, he usually has all of these kinds of things. But this was a euro more expensive from Charles than it was from City Market. So hail corporate. Let's dig in. Do you guys want milk with your cereal? Well, that's how it's that supposed it. to be. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's like the, the top yeah. way. That's why I have milk the on the table. I can't really tell what it smells like. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, but it, maybe it reminds me a bit of Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have 25 minutes to finish this video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just realized what time it was. We were getting ready for Esti Lol and it starts in 25 minutes, so yeah. time to eat some cereal, guys. Uh, but the, 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 the important question here is that uh, are we supposed to eat them crispy or are we supposed to eat them soft? That is personal preference. That yes. is 100% personal preference. But then uh, maybe I think I, uh, we should also first taste them Okay, yeah. yeah. So first you can taste them without milk, and then you can taste them with milk. Yeah. Put it flat, because yeah, otherwise yeah. it's going to... Yeah. See, it will block our beautiful faces. Okay. Mm. Does it taste Not like bad. a cookie? I think it's sweeter. It's much sweeter than the, the cookie. I don't think it tastes much like anything. <laughs> yeah, it tastes mainly sugar, but it has that that very slight mm, hint of the Oreo uh, flavor. I got fat-free milk just to, you know, <laughs> to try. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. At least attempt that this is <laughs> somehow humanly friendly. This is like <clears throat> this is like something Johnny Knoxville <laughs> wouldn't do. We're we're much much. Uh, I wouldn't want to use the word balls here because that's so sexist in a way. But yes. we have and and using the word guts is a bit lame. I'm actually we're, gonna get. We're more hardcore than John Knoxville. <laughs> yes, I'm actually gonna get second bowls for your second cereal. Yeah, yeah, you don't thinking. have to finish that. <laughs> I can throw it down the toilet if that's too much. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna fight through this. Okay, that's at least I, I will. But you guys took like huge portions. <laughs> yeah, I, I. Yeah, but I, we I are the that. masters of suffering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For aesthetics, I want you guys to have 
the same color of bottle. So. But also it's not bad, but it's not something I would like do on a regular basis. I mean, I'm, I'm well, I, I guess people, people's penchant on, on, on cereals ends when they turn, I don't know, 15 or something, at least. Speak for yourself. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I haven't had any cereals for an eternity. I, I'm way too Yeah, old. like, uh, I, I think the, like, the Finnish culture is kind of like the, you stop eating cereal. Oh, I don't know about uh, all the people, but uh, at some point you just stop eating cereal and then you never go back it's, again. It's, it's when the Donald Duck stops arriving in your house. <laughs> <it's a magazine laughs> one. Yeah, maybe. So I feel personally attacked and I'm not sure what to do. Uh, I but ate cereal. Hand, I ate, adult people read Donald Duck as well. I ate cereal until I, like every morning until I was about 25. And then the only reason I stopped eating cereal was because I started to become a little bit more health conscious of the fact that even healthy cereal is not necessarily healthy. Um, and I cannot wake up first thing in the morning and have a big bowl of sugar. We were in Parma with my friend back in July when there was like the little gap in time where it was kind of safe to travel to Estonia at least. And we had an Airbnb. And I was sort of going through a depression, so I didn't have any enthusiasm to buy bacon and eggs and traditional breakfast stuff for the morning, let alone like smoothie bowls or anything. So I bought a small box of Cine Minis, which is the European version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and a thing of milk. And every morning I had a bowl of Cine Minis for breakfast, which as a kid was my normal routine, but... As a 29 going on 30 year old, I felt disgusting. <laughs> like, I felt terrible. Like, I, the whole day just felt awful. Combine that with, you know, eating and drinking as you do when you're in Estonia. And it's just <laughs> the whole time, I was just like, why am I doing this to myself? And since I came back, I've had Reese's Puffs sometimes just because Puvilla had them in stock, so I was buying them. But I haven't missed cereal at all since my Parno Airbnb adventure. Like, that was my life. In Estonia, they have this channel called Aloteve, which just shows, like, old music videos and old Estonian live performances. So I, I, I kid you not, I had my bottle of, like, three-year-old wine that I got from Remy, or Remy, and then I had my Cine Minis, and then, like, my day was basically eat my Cine Minis, watch Estonian music videos, wait until my weird social rules that I invented myself decided it was late enough to start drinking and then I would start drinking. <laughs> Parno. That, that sounds like, that, that, that's like biography tire stuff. Tämä on kylpylä kaupunki syksyllä. Kastumme aina, kun kävelemme keskustaan. So now we're going to try the little cereal. So these, these are these are made by a different brand. These are made by Crownfield, and these are made by Sandy. So actually, actually, the these were quite sandy. It was sandy. It was like sandals when it crumbled in and, my mouth. And you wonder why people ask for you when you're not in my videos. It's for it's for hot takes like that. Yeah, I like the sandy, sandy, sandy texture. Can I have texture. scissors? This is this this texture. plastic is much texture. thicker than the. Yeah, oh, you're right. This plastic is much thicker than that of the. Uh, but it's Oreo. it's fair trade cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, little tribes. Yeah. Like people uh, like to And hey, it's an apology for oh, okay. a minute ago quoting Ultra Bra. It's okay, I'm an. Oh, I'll edit that out. Mina ole maha mutte ja mina en ymmärtä. I'm not gonna pour your cereal. I was gonna okay. pour your cereal for you. But I was uh, thinking, are uh, you going to say, Mina Soil and Sinua Kaike, but, but then I realized no. that you are not protecting me, you are making me suffer. No, I'm not protecting you from anything. Because we are the masters of suffering. Yes. 
Oh, that's Whoa. Whoa. Over. Hey, sh maybe Google share like, that with Yeah, yeah that's an overkill. Um, what? Well, I... <laughs> These look like dog food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, they do. But uh, what, weren't there a brand of, of <clears throat> cereals that look like this? We didn't smell it. Yeah. Now you can. Yeah, but this uh, smells like even this. worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really like it smells like shit. <laughs> I don't no. know. Or it like, like like just bad. It smells like like sawdust. <laughs> and <laughs> sawdust and artificial flavors. Great. You should smell it too if you haven't. Oh god, that's awful. I'm sorry. That doesn't that, this doesn't smell like food. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, hey, it doesn't can, smell like food. Can this be classified as food? This doesn't have the chart. I'm stupid and I need the no, chart. No, the chart is in the... Oh, the I, chart, I... It, it's there. Oh, but no, it doesn't have the color chart. I need the color chart. I need that. <laughs> But I, I realized I, I, I put the spoons away as well. And I'll get you mixed. spoons. I'll get you spoons. Thank you. Okay. I got your spoons. Now the song is stuck in my head. Ultra Brawl. Yeah, the Karnu song. Tana on kyllä pylä kaupunki syksyllä. Okay. Who is the person I'm doing this for? Yourself. And me. Your, yeah, your perhaps, pal. Perhaps. Your, I'm like trying to... Your pal friend, Patine. <laughs> I forgot to take this as food. dry, but... <laughs> it's okay. This is somehow like... This is like sorry. <laughs> salty. Salty. Sorry. Sorry. Salty. 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 These are. We didn't actually try them as yes, try. Yeah. Yeah, he just I, said that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just so you were focused so entrenched. with my own bowl. Yeah. Um. But they turn very oily from the surface after being in touch with the milk. I would so assume there's a lot of oil in or there. Or like that. Maybe. Yeah. Or oil. Yeah. Yeah. Are they worse than Oreo O's? Mm. These are ridiculously sweet as well. I don't find the salt in these. I don't know. Somehow, or maybe it's just because we've been eating all these, you're starting to like get the complete like uh, sugar OD mm. at this point. So maybe that is also one of the reasons why this Somehow feels much worse. <laughs> yeah, but hey, that's like um, um, basically half a gram of 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 salt in one hundred. That's a grams. lot of salt for cereal. Yeah. I think. How much salt is is it in these? It's not going to be in metric. I don't think. Mm. Or maybe it is. I don't know. There's no. percentage. That's percentage of your but, daily allowance. That's not percentage but of there's, the... there. I don't... Saturated fat, cholesterol, sodium. Sodium is salt. Yeah, 9%. Of your daily allowance. Yeah. No, no, one... No, of, no, of when, one oh, serving. Like, like one, ah, serve, one okay. serving. That's, that is but, 40 grams. So, and that's like 400 grams. Here in one serving, there is... Salt is 8%. So that actually has less salt then. Yeah. Or the reference intake. Mm, like what's the... And there's like... Yeah, uh, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. But I just wanted to say there is salt. And since we're so very well less oriented here, let's see. Mm. There is actually, or wait a sec, 100, in, in a serving of 100 grams. Uh, 
But is a serving 100 grams? I don't think it is. No, no. Uh, that seems well, okay, a this, lot. This, this is... Wait a sec. 40 grams of those include 160 calories. Yeah. And uh, 100 grams of, of, of these... Uh, include 447 calories. So I think those have more than, if, because like if you kind of simplify the math, if you, yeah, that has more. Yeah, I, I was just because I'm I'm absolutely atrocious in math. So am I, but I, I think that is actually. But yeah, like 80, 80. No, well, yeah, but yeah, this this one has a bit more fat. So so okay, or uh, calories. Yes. So, final thoughts on cookies and cereal. Which is better, and would you eat either the cookies or the cereals again? I could eat the Neo cookies again. Mm. But, um, I wouldn't... Mm, mm, I am not taking Oreo O's or Neo pillows as part of my healthy, really healthy, as you can see from my face. <laughs> uh, I am not taking any of there, these three as part of my healthy lifestyle. Your balanced breakfast. <laughs> yes. And but uh, but, uh, but uh, I could uh, eat those normal Neos with pleasure if there was a... Um... Well, I have I have some good news for you. I'm not going to eat them, so that box yeah. is yours. Whoa! <laughs> I Congratulations. have something to bring home. Congratulations! Yeah. Miko, any, any final I thoughts? I started to compare the <laughs> calorie amounts again. And um, actually, uh, well, they're, they're quite the same. Uh, the the neos have uh, like per 100 gram 100 grams 488 calories, and the uh, Oreos have 476 calories. So the difference is quite minimal. But yeah, well, um, maybe the regular Oreos is perhaps the only one I would include in my incredibly balanced and and uh, my, in my my biohacker lifestyle well congratulations because you just won the rest of that pack of Oreos I'm I've, I've never been this grateful in my life all right I'm, guys this is this is truly truly all-time all, the all-time great that last time on I know I was just going to... <laughs> yeah, I kind of that. caught that from you. Well, thank you to Mikael and to Vilho for being a part of this video and to Yuki for filming it. And uh, thank you to Little for not sponsoring this video and to Satamaito who also didn't sponsor this video but might as well should have since their milk has been in the frame the entire time. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, but I can't promise you when I'll upload a video again <laughs> at this frequency. It doesn't happen very very often uh, and you can also smash the like button if you want all right thanks everybody bye